Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you see this, I would like to offer the mid-October elemental energy reading for the element of air. Um, I read intuitively, so the messages that come through may or may not be exactly what the books or notes say. Um, also, these are general readings for a full group, so take what works for you, leave the rest for someone else. Um, and air covers the elements of the zodiac signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. With that, we'll get started here. I read, first of all, for air singles, and then I read for air within a relationship of couples. Um, and we'll start off, this first deck is my chakra deck. It was a gift from a very dear friend, and I love it. I just double check everything in the book because I want to make sure you get all of the information that you need from these readings. Uh, that and it's always fun to learn a little bit more about some of the more com complex versions of the chakras. So for air singles, you are in the root chakra. So this is a foundational energy for you. This is a challenge is what it says here. What it's saying is you have the ability to overcome obstacles is what I'm hearing. And it's also saying with this, is it a ram? What is that? Oh, it's an elephant. <laughs> there's a symbol behind it and there's an elephant. I thought it was a ram. But with the elephant, it's also saying that you have the knowledge, wisdom, and memory to go forward with it. And what I'm also getting with that is there's a lot of strength that air singles have right now. So overall, you are doing really well. You are kind of your focus is more root chakra energy so it's more foundational stuff like making sure the home is good the health is good things like that it doesn't mean that you're not open to a relationship air it's saying air singles it's saying that right now your focus is a little bit more on the stability of things and that stability might actually once it's settled once you're assure yourself it's settled may open the door for a relationship or a new friendship if you're not looking for a romance at this point so We'll read in our little book here. It's not little, it's actually a gigantic book. Anyway, <laughs> uh, your anim your, the animal on there is the, air ele the, excuse me, the elephant Arava Aravada, the yellow square, right in the middle here, uh, symbolizes earth. So this could be a challenge for you a little bit air. Uh, in its center signifies the white elephant Aravada, uh, the Mount of Supreme Strength and Celestial Ascendancy. His seven trunks correspond to the seven chakras. The four cardinal points or directions colored blood red, which are these guys here, are linked with the four petals of the lotus. Each contains a Sanskrit symbol noting the different states of consciousness, joy, natural pleasures, controlling the passion, and blissfulness in concentration. Oh, perfect for air. They love to be able to stay focused on projects. Um, we also have our keywords, our defensiveness, worry, complaining, uncertainty, uncertainty, distraction, distress, and conflict. Well, with air, <laughs> singles, and having earth as an element that goes with it, it could also be a little bit of a um, seeing things as strong as they are foundationally, maybe a little bit of a challenge is what I'm hearing. But you have the seven trunks going forward here with the elephant meaning that you have the ability to balance this all you have the gifts the, school, st the tools the strength to bring everything into alignment so that it's for you as perfect as it's going to get uh, if you work with the elemental energies working with all four is going to be beneficial for the air singles this month uh, and it's also saying that you're at the center of your world right now everything's moving around and you have the ability to adjust things as necessary because that's the gift of the divine for you this month is you're the kind of the one in control this is the last card in the root chakra set before it goes into the next one so you're in a process of moving and ascending anyway so this is kind of tidy everything up now because there's some moves that are coming shortly for our air singles your first tarot is the king of earth generous professional responsible and practical as successful time confidently accepting opportunities you're offered the Midas touch and this is what that's coming into for our air singles is 
yeah, there's a little bit of a challenge right now, but the challenge is setting you up for success. You have 100% of the ability to deal with whatever's happening because it's not that big of a deal. It's more of like paperwork and checklists and I have to finish this so I can move on to the next thing because that's what I really want. This is just in the way at the moment. But you have this professional attitude about it. You have this structure to how you're dealing with things, air singles, that are saying, once this is handled, then I can move on to this. So once you get double check to make sure everything is in alignment, you can move into that relationship hunt. Or you can move into those social situations that you want to be in. They're saying that this is more of an internal thing like, am I really for sure? Like, sure, they got this done, I got that done. It's not so much actively going out and dealing with stuff. It's things that are just kind of popping up right now. It's the energy that's a saying you're ready for a change, you're ready for a shift, and Air likes to make sure that things planned out, so you're just checking off the list to make sure you're good to go. Um, your second card is number 11, the Strength, with Archangel Ariel, which is the female version of Uriel. Great inner strength, releasing harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. Don't be too hard on yourself. You have the strength to do whatever you need to do. With this one, it's strength that is tempered with wisdom, meaning you don't have to be out there beating things up. It's, I got this. This is where I'm at. This is where I'm going. You are really in a beautiful place this month, uh, Air Singles, because you have this ability to look at what's going on, deal with what needs to be dealt with, enjoy the ever-loving heck out of everything else, and move forward with a big smile on your face knowing, <laughs> I knew I could handle it, and I handled it like a king or a queen because that's the energy that's coming forward for you. You're in a, in a situation right, or you're in a position right now, situation, in a position right now to grow, to change, and really expand things because you're at the end of a cycle getting ready for the next one. So you're double checking, making sure that once you take that next step, you don't have to go back. Um, which is kind of an interesting energy to be in uh, is what they're showing me is it's just this really exciting time of okay make sure it's all tied up because once you go through the door now you're into this next part of your life and that other part's still going to be there but you're not going to be actively working with it so it could be a new job a new work relationship but they're also saying it could be a new romantic relationship so keep your eyes open uh, hopping over to our air couples you have number 18 perspective, and I feel like this is going to be your uh, sacral, your solar plexus. But what I'm hearing with this one with perspective energy is stepping away sometimes and just observing. It doesn't mean to leave a relationship. It means to step back. And it could be in meditation, stepping away that way, looking at the dynamic between you and your partner. Or it could be looking at the dynamic of your relationship and how it interacts with those around you. But what I'm what I'm hearing with this one is keeping things in perspective is healthy. If it's really super exciting, great. If it's really super bad, not so great. But is it really that big of a deal or is it a minor situation? Is it really that exciting to others or is it just exciting to you and your partner? Those are those perspectives. That doesn't mean it's not exciting, great, and wonderful. It just means to you <laughs> and that's what I'm hearing is again it's not that it's not a negative connotation it's more of just keep things in perspective as you go through the next month we have the and we are in the third chakra so it's your solar plexus um, the deity here is Indra leader of the gods and rulers of the sky thunder and rain Indra encircles his in, sorry Indra encircled in his luminous rainbow is a symbol for strength courage vision and insight he carries a magical weapon called a varia that can illuminate non-duality known as a courageous warrior he leads people into battle and offers protection from it so this is definitely a time for you to step up you have the, the ability to deal with things just keep him in perspective sometimes mountains out of molehills isn't necessary your key words are will, courage, determination, accord, the use of power or authority, autonomy, asserting your perspectives, standing up for yourself. Don't be a doormat, earth or air couples. It doesn't matter what else is going on as you go through this month. Remember, you're in your power right now. Your solar plexus is your power center of the chakras. 
you have ascended beyond the lower two which are kind of selfish energies this one is you stand in your authority not selfish isn't bad you're self -preserva preserving this one is more of the now I can step out into the world energy and it's all in how you show up your relationship is extremely important for you and it's important to everyone really but how you show up with that relationship is also how the perspective of others is going to change so keep that in mind as you go forward here but it's also understanding that the non-duality aspect of a relationship when you are in a relationship you are bonding to that person biblically to become one energetically your souls are touching they're weaving together there's a whole bunch of different ways to s explain this concept and what I'm getting from this with Indra is you are not separate from each other anymore there's still this independence with with each other but understand that you're still of one mind and one heart so yes you can have your independence you can have your friends your partner can have their friends but you're still a couple and that's what they're saying is understand that you can be individuals but still be bonded to each other which is in my opinion the true definition of a partnership it's not probably the book definition I don't care what the book says uh, because a partnership is two people who come together and work for balance and that's what I'm hearing is you found that balance enjoy it you don't have to be obsessed with staying that or you know oh, we only can do things as a couple there's a trust thing that goes on too but you are bonded together and that is a partnership where you find balance within the relationship and you've already got that air couples so it's really actually a good thing for you um, your first tarot is the queen of air independent experienced realistic and witty objective decision making clearing away all that no longer serves seeing humors in situations you are independent air is naturally independent unless it's in its less than um, ascended form or less enlightened form because then it kind of becomes air heady there's a reason they use that term but what I'm seeing with this queen of air is you have so much confidence in your ability especially your couple's ability to do things that there's not much that's gonna stand in your way when you work with the perspective card where you're seeing things from a different perspective you're kind of setting yourself apart at times it's showing you that oh we've got this as a couple we are bonded we are tight we are in this to win it not that it's a race or competition but that's an easy way to describe it is you guys are such a tight close-knit group uh, the energy they're showing me is actually making me feel kind of jealous being a single person right now because it's really about that connection that bond uh, air couples going forward October is looking really good for you right now your second card is four of water missing an opportunity discontentment or boredom opening your eyes to possibilities don't feel that you are in a situation of lack or uh, boredom this month you have so many great things that are available to you it is all a matter of perspective the perspective that you might at times feel I just go to work and I come home and I go to work and I come home okay but you're also paying for your the life that you want to lead but you're coming home to your partner those are amazing things in that respect because it's changing the perspective energy here and what I'm seeing for our air couples especially is you are really amazing I'm sorry I just keep going over this bonding because the images and the energy they're showing me is so intense because it is this bonded energy where you're individuals don't get me wrong but you come together and it's like a force of nature <laughs> because not much is going to be able to get to you or get through you when you set your combined minds towards a goal it's going to happen one way or another this month what I'm getting from this is a big reminder that you cannot deal with any challenge that comes your way way air couples you have got a kind of a Midas golden touch right now or if you decide this is what you as a couple are going to do that's what you're gonna do and <laughs> anyone who gets in the way might want to rethink their positions because you're gonna be able to handle it but you also are individual enough to be able to read different books go out with your friends um, and you can have separate friend groups because you know 
that your love and your connection to your partner is so great that there's a huge amount of trust there. And open communication is another one Air is really strong with, and that's coming forward really, really powerfully for Air couples this month. I know this might have been a little bit rambly, but they were showing me some awesome energy, and I love it. So, Air, if you're in a single situation, you're about ready to sh make some big shifts in life, so make sure that your house, quote unquote, is in order because things are moving. Air couples, you apparently wanted, or apparently the reminder was there to show you, you've got this. You have a very deep connection with your partner. Your partner has a deep connection with you and things are going very well for you and they're saying that they're about to amp, amp up in a very positive way. So understand that you guys are in this together. It's not individuals within the relationship. You can be individuals, but you're in a relationship that is very close and tight and bonded. So with that, I will let you guys go. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next video.